When you see these quote unquote UFOs, if you expect some green niggas in suits to hop off the bitches, you smoking, you smoking dick. You hear me? You smoking good dick, because I'm telling you right now. Everybody wanna see what's on these ships, you gonna see us hop off them bitches. That's who you gonna see. Then niggas feel it's gonna be hurt. Cause you expecting to see some magical beings hop off the ships, and it's gonna fuck you up when you see us hop off the ship. Like damn. That's what we sent Rashad Jamal for to let you niggas know who y'all was. So us on them ships. They can't let you know that. When the ships is moving in all type of ways that, that defies their laws of gravity. Cause I told you, gravity is man-made. All their science is lies. Gravity don't keep you on the ground, density does that. But they'll have you believe in this gravity. When I say, hey, you know, our goddesses manifested themselves out of dark matter energy. They ain't need no dick or no semen. That's, that actually happened. You think it's just a dream. You think it's just a lecture. That's no different than Neo in Resurrections. Every time he get the visions, he push him out his head with the blue pill. Planting a bunch of plants that produce food. And don't tell anyone. Hi friend, I have that same bonnet too. It's just that it got too short for my long walk. So this is called Gorilla Gardening. If you guys are not familiar, Gorilla Gardening, Gorilla with a G-U-E, is a form of planting without permission. Before two years comes around, it will be dismantled. Because yes, in a lot of cases, it is an illegal practice. Now, can you do it in a secret? Absolutely. Do I know people that do it in secret? Maybe. Do I do it myself? Maybe. And is this video for educational and entertainment purposes only? Yes. So this is how we can get around that. And by the way, go watch the original video. And then that video is actually a recording of another original poster. So shout out to them because yes, the UN did have a huge conference about food being a human right. And every country voted yes on it except for America. So if you're going to do that, start with sunflowers. Sunflowers actually remove heavy metals from soil. is why the Sasquatch and the Yeti won't have anything to do with human beings now, you know. And we also say that, it, that when they begin to reappear and show themselves and begin to communicate with human beings again, which is what they're in fact doing now, mm -hmm. certain select people we say are being touched by spirit and the Sasquatch are being guided to them to give them special messages about the closing and the end of this fourth cycle because there's a beginning, another cycle that's going to be starting in the very near future for us. And so the Sasquatch are beginning to reveal themselves and beginning to reveal information and secrets, if you will, that they've long held for themselves, for us, about ourselves and things and what, what we need to be prepared for and what we need to be doing, you know, to help heal this Mother Earth, this planet and things. Unfortunately, a lot of people <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of people equate the Sasquatch and the Yeti, you know, with the ETs. And I've had a lot of people ask me about that. And from my understanding of it, from them themselves, they watch these ETs because from the first ones, they remember in their genetic memory, they remember when they first came. And when they went out to see them, went out to greet them, basically, the first thing that happened was the ETs enslaved them you know and tried to use them you know to to do their labor and they tried to use them for food and, and everything else i understand they're vegetarians is that correct? yes they are they've they've never been known to harm or eat a human being or anything else mm -hmm. in there uh, that doesn't mean that they won't defend themselves and stuff or that they don't get angry but uh, basically they're very peaceful peaceful people and they are our ancestors there's uh, also some misunderstanding. I always talk in terms of Sasquatch and Yei, and there's actually two different, two different At the point of the supernova, when you have both those energies coming in there and the energies are equal to each other, all right? The lunar energies, the lunar frequencies are 
equal to the solar frequencies because when you're talking about a solar flare yes it's, it's a flare of energy but what's inside that energy frequencies so you have solar frequencies and lunar frequencies coming in at the same time bringing forth a power and an energy that no one can ever imagine and what happens during this time of this supernova all this that you see today these businesses and the money and the finances and all this stuff when that's happening it literally be will be wiped away and those who control it will be wiped away we told you they're scared of extinction all right so I really like some of them will survive just a little bit and they may survive a couple calendar months or a couple calendar days but they will not survive the entire time because what happens to the density becomes even more powerful which means that this becomes even more packed together and this is where this heat is this is where the heat comes from. So when they said that, when that those scientists uh, uh, on that that last that uh, that video that I sent on, on the on uh, uh, the YouTube YouTube community channel, all right, when that scientist said that you have heat, a heat wave coming from the Arctic Circle, you have to remember the Arctic Circle is the center of our realm and it's sinning, which means that the the tree of life is coming back to life again. And this is something these sacks can't stop. See, when you when you try to destroy something so powerful, what happens? It literally rebuilds itself and it makes itself even more powerful as it rebuilds itself. Come back strong. I remember. Hey, part five, last part. So we're moving closer to our galactic sun. All right. Very soon, money and things and all this other stuff are going to be obsolete. The closer, the, the more powerful we become, all right, especially as the awakened ones, the awakened ones, we're controlling this now. That's why it's important to stay awake. That's why it's important to don't, don't fall into this whole thing. You know, they want to talk about the cloning. We knew that they've been cloning for the longest. We knew that. Jamie Foxx knew what he, what he got into yeah. when he signed the contract. They know what they begin to he knew what he got into. They do it for fame. All these other brothers, so they knew what they got into. But they wanted the money. They wanted the fame. They wanted the glory. It's not about money, fame, and glory. It's about being aware. It's about being awake. It's about being a part of the very source that, evolved, that uh, uh, you were manifested from from the beginning. All right? You have brothers and sisters who come on this channel, and, you know, it's like... You're talking on a, I'm talking on a spiritual level, or some of them just talk on a physical level, not completely awakened. They like hearing what was was being said, but they don't want to really do the job. So you gotta, you gotta get out here. You gotta do this, cause I'm busy. I'm busy. All right. <laughs> I'm busy. All right. So we gotta be busy. We gotta get out here, and we gotta rebuild our world. But we gotta plant our trees again. All right, we gotta plant our trees again. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get ready because a shift is coming, and when this shift happens, it's gonna take a period of seven to nine months for us burying these Saxons. All right, we're gonna end up having to bury a lot of their bodies because they are all gonna be dead. Some of them are gonna be gonna gonna go into spontaneous combustion. Others of them are just gonna just die. And we it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a period of seven to nine months it's gonna take for us to bury all of their bodies. Damn. All right. And then as we're doing this, we begin to rebuild because it will be a world without their system, which means that they take their money with them. This is why they're trying to find a way off the planet. They're trying to find a way off the world. Mm -hmm. You understand that? We're coming into a very powerful area. It's important to remain spiritual brothers and sisters. Everything that they present to you that's physical is in, 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 that appears physical in nature, it's only an illusion. Get the money, the too, things, man. because the, the, why are they illusion? Because when they break down, they can't regenerate themselves. When they break down, they 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 can't. All right, so let's uh, let's get ourselves together, brothers and sisters. All right, I catch right. you guys in a bit. Shout out to Ock Lord.
bro got for you people who don't know the galactic federation is like the universal version of the un except they're for us in his messages he said that the elite no longer control money and they no longer control the ai in this reality that's what i choose to it's not it's no longer based off about fiat or paper-based currency it'll be based off of your energy and how you're using your energies so for some of y'all who don't believe there is beings helping us to really to basically extinguish the system that they've had set up for thousands of years the quantum system is is basically the fastest you've ever seen in your entire existence quantum technology is like i can go live with a hundred people and it'll be seamless more like a thousand to be real <laughs> or more and it'll be seamless not they they want to keep promoting uh, propaganda i posted a video about them trying to turn off the power the three days of darkness is to initiate the system so we can get on the quantum system so whenever the three days of darkness happen you know it's not a bad thing you know prepare for what you need to prepare for but when that power turns back on we're going to be in the quantum they initiated the quantum system back in 2018 with trump i posted the documents it's somewhere along my page it's, it's, it's a little bit down there but uh, what he's saying is true so i know some people won't believe it till they see it so whenever it happens all i'm gonna tell y'all is that prepare for a new world you ain't never seen before they keep trying to say you know they're gonna do all this stuff they, they're promoting fear because they done they pretty much done their fear-based propaganda the sun artificial artificial whatever they want to create that shit is over with everything they've ever done is over with we're in a new age and it's the age of the golden race be prepared for the new technology too healing any illnesses with frequency <laughs> it's called harmonic resonance they use these machines called for an for an example of a med bed just look at the movie elysium with matt damon where you can type it into youtube and they have a couple of videos showing you the technology but get prepared y'all it's time for a new world this old world that they set up is over the end of the world people talk about is their world it's over the new shall begin and the golden shall rise bro what the fuck is that on 95 y'all <laughs> what the fuck is this bro like for real what the fuck is this hey y'all think this is a ufo fire actually coming through the manholes at uh, Porter Ranch up at the Ralphs up here. That's pretty crazy. I've never seen that before. A lot of flames coming through there. So it's underground at this moment. There's some more over here coming through another vent. That's wild. is if we go back in time, 1900s, 1910, 1920s, all of those times, hospitals at that time used to have linen sheets in the hospital 
because if a person was suffering from wounds or if they were suffering from inflammation or pain, when they went to go lay on these linen sheets, they would repair overnight within 24 hours and they would send them out. Now they have polyester and plastics and all this other whatever it may be as, a, as the alternative or what they're using now. And that keeps the people in this sick cycle because now they're not repairing in those beds. So, you know, when you when it comes to sleeping and when it comes to keeping the static charge off the body, you want to opt for linen. Linen is the best hands down. And we'll go through all the different ones and talk about it. But linen is the best hands down. And I say this because also when you look at, for example, babies, with babies, they usually wrap them in linen. And that's because their little legs, think about their little legs are kicking all the time. And if they were in, for example, polyester, or a different fabric, then when their little legs start kicking, then what will start to happen is they're gonna gather up a static charge, and then that little baby is gonna get fussy because the baby is gonna get irritable from the material. So a lot of baby materials, which are known as sensitive materials, are actually made out of linen. So when we look at all of this and we connect the dots, we can connect to the powers of linen. This is yeah. what people are mistaken about. There's all people people talking about the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. You're the fucking zombies. Oh, the cell phone you know that? zombies. This is the fucking yeah. zombie. Well, are this we is the yeah. zombie apocalypse, zombies. man. Yeah. Wait, are you? Yeah. Are. I am too. Yeah. I'm one of the fucking zombies, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, listen. Jim. Good evening. Welcome to the busy. All Zombie Network. Check this. <laughs> Do you know about, uh, about uh, um, alchemical uh, sexual alchemy? Do you, know that the, did you, do you know that the story of Jesus, how it's been altered in certain ways? I mean, yes, there was a guy. Yes, there was teachings, all that stuff. But no, there's 33 vertebrates in your spine. There's 33 years in the life of Jesus. Jesus Christ, yeah. Okay. There is a, a substance or liquid or, a, a, you know, a substance that comes from your medulla, which is basically completely looks like the uh, Ark of the Covenant, has has uh, angel's wings around it, the whole thing. Your medulla is shaped. Now, like is this that. what like So this, this substance comes from your medulla, makes the tr trip down your spine to your sacrum, which is the, which is... Quick, get a dictionary. Christ coming down into human form. Yes. And if you don't squander that essence, that sexual essence, it ascends again and goes back up to heaven which is your thing. It's also the story of Santa Claus. Why he comes down the chimney is because this, this juice or this what is, whatever substance actually passes what's called the claustrum, which is where they got Santa Claus. Yeah. So it goes down what the chimney the and back fuck? up the chimney. I forgot what we were talking about. You must we're remember. talking about sexual alchemy. Yeah, sexual you know alchemy. what Gnosticism is really about? I was telling you about running around the 800 meters. Okay. And if this has anything to do, if this, Gnosticism, if I can, because I, I have trouble relating this uh, sexual alchemy and, and. Once you are in, they prefer you not to hang around nobody you know. Why? Because people that's not in the industry can see BS. They can see demonic things happening. They don't want you around folks like that because they can influence you to get out or not participate. So usually they pick your girlfriends, they pick your boyfriends. Why? See, you never can understand you got all that kind of money and you can date about anybody. I mean, half the time I go to the mall, make them celebrity women look sad. But why come they don't want those celebrities messing with anybody in the mall? Because those women in the mall are regular people. Some of them people believe in the Lord and they read their Bible on a regular. So that means they got light in them. They can't have that. So when you get ready to date somebody, they prefer you to date someone in the industry because they wicked. You see, they got to keep you wicked. So it's no wonder that Kanye West love, uh, Kim Kardashian, she's a wicked one. She'd have been passed around like a baton.